Hey there, this is just a quick video of a rundown of some of the code. So this is a console application written uh, in Visual Basic in Visual Studios. I think this is 2010. You can download Visual Studios Express from Microsoft for free and just punch this code in if you want to do it yourself. Um, but what I'm doing here is I'm using an HTTP get method uh, through uh, HTTP uh, web request. And I send this to the Arduino Ethernet shield that we're using here. Um, to I've already got an IP address for it. And I'll send it uh, a variable, 1, 2, or 3. So it'll send uh, 192.168.1.177 forward slash 1 or forward slash, you get it, 2, and so forth. And then um, that posts to the Arduino. Um, and the Arduino reads that here. Uh, I'm using... Um, the UIP Ethernet uh, library. got that from GitHub. I like it the best right now. It seems to be pretty um, easy to... it's almost the same thing as the Ethernet library that's already um, offered with the Arduino um, code or IDE. Um, and it seems more stable. I tried a couple other libraries and this one seems a little more stable. Um, so here you can see I'm assigning the IP address for my Ethernet shield. Uh, a couple of things. I'll put this code online. We don't have to look at it right now. But what we can see down here is um, if it gets a request, it fills it into this um, char array here, right here. So it brings it in, um, char c, client.read, and it fills this up until it doesn't have, um, until it gets to the um, new line character. And then we now have our char array, and I look at the first six characters of this char, char array with the string compare. Um, so I see if it's get one, which is the one variable that we would have sent here. So it would have been what this sends is get slash and whatever variable I put here by concatenating it right here. Um, sorry, I'm going pretty quick here. So if it's 1, I know I want to turn the PC on, so I set a variable down here as 1. If I want to turn the PC, uh, PC meaning the NAS, the computer is the PC. Um, if it's 2, I'm telling it to turn it off. And if it's 3, I'm telling it uh, just to check the voltage. Is it running? So we can run this right now and see um, what's going on. It's down in my basement, so I'll send a 3. And so it sends it um, to this address and it responds and it's, there's no voltage so it says it's not running. Um, so let's go ahead and start it. So I'm going to start the NAS. So I run my console application and I send a 1 which means I want it to run. So it sends it to the Arduino. The Arduino starts the PC. It checks the voltage and so we can come down here. There's a couple other things. This code will all be on the Instructable. So I here I check the variable. So if my variable was 1, then I want to turn it on. And I say if the voltage is less than 1, then turn it on. So I turn on the relay for um, 300 milliseconds, uh, which is just like a pushing the start button, and it turns it on. Um, now we know that it's on, and we can check that by sending a 3. So I'll start my um, console application here, and I'll send a 3, and it'll send me back the voltage because we just turned it on. So there you go. Um, now, anybody that's run NAS, I'm running mine off a USB stick, so it takes <laughs> it takes a couple minutes to get running. So uh, let's look at the rest of this code here real quick. Um, so if it's 2, we want to turn it off, so we check to see if it has voltage uh, greater than 2, and then we turn it off by simply clicking the power button one more time, which in this case uh, tells the NAS, uh, which is free NAS, uh, to shut down the uh, computer. And, and that's pretty much it. This code's pretty simple. I'm not a I'm not a code guru, so this stuff's pretty basic um, and probably not the best way to do things. Um, all right, so I'll post all this. Let's check to see if the NAS is up. I doubt it, but we can go up here. Uh, I don't want to give me a second here. Let me do this over here. Doesn't matter what the IP address is, but okay, so it's up. So I'll go ahead and log in. There we go. So it's up and running. So we can go back here. Let's run the console application. We'll see 
is it running yes voltage 2.37 okay that automatically closes we'll go over here and we'll shut it down so that could take a second um, we'll get rid of that um, here we'll check to see if it's running I shut it down with the web interface um, only because that's the proper way to shutting it down but if you run it with a monitor if you run your free NAS with a monitor uh, you'll see that when you hit the power button it goes through the proper shutdown procedure I just don't like doing it so we'll send the three to see if it's still up and it's still up it's still shutting down so we'll run this one more time now since this is a console application as soon as this main is run it's done the whole console application shuts down um, so you could do this I've got another VB program that I wrote that um, is a little different um, you could take and um, truncate this code a little bit and get rid of all of this and just say hey I just want to send one and make it just when you click on the app when you click on the um, link it just starts it just sends the one and then shuts down the console application it'd be a real quick easy way to uh, start your NAS oops I want to check to see if it's still running so there you go PC is not running so if we go back here to our NAS we should well it's just gonna time out it's not gonna do anything because it's not running so that's it hopefully this wasn't too long and um, check out the code and leave me some comments. This will be my first instructable, so be kind.